I am here. Hydration is key. So this is a brand new game. This game has only been out for like a week at the most. I know very, very little about it. I know you can capture and raise creatures that are mu very much like Pokemon and you have battles with them very much like in Pokemon and exploration is a big thing in this in a Metroidvania style which is something that I am quite interested in because that is very much my genre. So you got Pokemon style RPG plus Metroidvania. That, that sounds like my sort of thing. You can adjust the combat speed. Ooh, I'll leave it at ba the basic for right now. I'll switch these up if I need to. Thank you, Zergi. I'll switch these around if I feel like I need to. Right now, I don't even know what all is here. So. Um. It's completely blind. I haven't played it yet. Uh, that's probably all fine. I feel like that's probably all good. I'll change stuff up if I feel like some input isn't good. There are nine different save slots. That's interesting. Oh, do we go red or blue? Uh, I like them both. Uh, stuffs indeed. That is accurate. Uh, the blue is kind of nice. But also the red. Also, is one a guy and one a girl? I can't tell. They both look pretty similar to me. If it, I'm, I'm going off of Pokemon logic with that. Um... Uh, Yeah, I think the blue is a girl, but I, I'm not positive the red isn't. I'm looking at both of their walk cycles. Do red? Okay, that's that's a few votes for red. Uh, we got it. We got to go lunar. Lunar. Yes. The Monster Sanctuary is a land far from any other human civilization. What, why? Oh, it's a bird! Hello, bird. It's not completely blind, I've seen like the first five minutes, so that's literally it. While wild monsters are dangerous to humans, monsters raised by them grow loyal to their owners. I didn't absorb any of what I just read. Most of the people in Monster Sanctuary reside in the Keeper's Stronghold. Do they play board games together? I bet they play board games together. I hope they're fun. Many of them learn to raise and train monsters. They call themselves Monster Keepers. Monster Keeping Master? Pokemon Master? Choose the familiar of your bloodline. Okay, so this is one of the things I know about. Like, uh, y they're all cool looking. I like these two best. And this one's good too, but the fact of the matter is, 
Um, there's an eagle. There is an eagle. This one's cool, too. I do legitimately like this. But the fact of the matter is, as soon as I saw this, I'm like, there is a flaming eagle. And I am Lunar Eagle. How can I not go with an eagle when I am Lunar Eagle? Among the, among the most prestigious monster keepers, there are four prominent old bloodlines tied to the monster sanctuary's history. Each of these bloodlines is aided by a spectral familiar. These familiars are ageless protectors of their family, passed on from one keeper to the next. I do really like the wolf. The wolf is legitimately cool. But also, Lunar is just starting out to become a monster keeper like his ancestors before him. Yeah, okay, so the other one is a girl, because the guy that I saw had chosen the other one. As with all starting monster keepers, his journey begins on the keeper's trail with an awesome bird that has fire. Oh, what do we gotta name it? We got we gotta name it something. You can't just name it Eagle. Uh, uh, what, what do we what do what do you name? What do we want to name it? Uh, okay. Um. Oh, oh, I got it. That, if I remember correctly, I'm going to make sure I remember correctly. That is the brightest star in the Eagle constellation. Therefore, that is my reasoning. Monsters are wild things. Only reason I'm helping you is because of the bond I share with your family. I hate your guts. Most monsters are less inclined than me to help you. That is why you must always raise your own monsters. They will grow alongside you just as I will. Maybe I'll like you, maybe not. And they will fight for you. The best way to gain a monster's loyalty is to hatch it from its egg. To s steal it away from its parents. Make it an orphan. And it will never know the difference. Of course, you have to fight to get those monster eggs. Look at the blob over there. Kidnap its child. <laughs> Initiate a fight by contact. We will see if you live up to your ancestors. Okay, these are not the buttons I expected. Oh, well, that's cool. Oh, these are not the buttons I was expecting. Oh, there's a map. That's cool. Uh, how do how do you change buttons? Input. Uh, jump. This one. Um. Okay, actually, hang on one second. I need to look at Steam and see what inputs are I have set in the first place so I can figure out what to switch them to. Da What were the... Hmm. Yes, it's not exactly keyboard woes, it's controller woes.
Okay, there we go. This is what I needed. Okay, so A is space, B is return. Let me move this over here. Give me a second. Give me a second to do the things that I need to do. I basically have to translate everything. Alright, so, just return. Space. Instead of space, I want this to be. Wait. No, I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. And that's the thing. You go over here. Okay. Yeah, that that's fine. I'll just take some getting used to. I switch those two though. Um, that's fine. Uh, that's all fine. Is that the one? Let me just do a thing real quick. Um, okay, that's that. Ooh. Okay, yeah, I hate these controls on that. Keyboard controls are super confusing. I would never have it be like that if I was doing this on the keyboard. this and I would rather it be Y which is paid up I, I, I guess I'll have to go with the odd controls that it has it'll just take some getting used to it, it's fine And as long as, uh, okay, that, that's fine. Just trying to figure everything out. Because, like, I keep on pre expecting B to be jump, but it's not. That's okay. I'm just, I've been so used with other, used to other games recently that I'm messing stuff up. Kind of. It's just different controller schemes that I've been familiar with recently. Got explosion, and lightning bolt, and feather storm, and you got info on all of them, mana for all of them, you can see how much damage they'll do to the enemy. Hey Rusty, good to see you. How you doing, my friend? Glad to have you here. And then, like, uh, can I look at the enemy? Yes, give me enemy info. Please? No? No enemy info? Okay. Uh, 
That does the most. Is that what it's weak to? Yes, that is what it's weak to. Lobby dude is weak to lightning. Bubble burst. That looks like water. That looks like something I'd be weak to. <laughs> yeah, the game looks fun. I'm looking forward to checking this out more. Ooh, it goes fadey, fadey away. Rare loot chance, gold bonus. Enemy difficulty, 477. What does that mean? What is 477? What are any of these? <laughs> I don't know what these mean. What is what is copper? I got a blob egg. Okay. There we go. You received a blob egg. Now you need to hatch it. Open the inventory menu. And try to hatch it. Uh, uh, wait, where is? Oh, hello. Hey, Lois Pickle. Glad to see you. I hope you're doing well. Good to see you, friend. Oh, what do we name blob? What do we name Blob? Oh, it is a Blob. What do we name it? The little orb. Goopy Boyo. Good to see y'all, though. I hope y'all are doing well. How you doing? Bob the Blob is an option. Um. Uh, I want something slightly different though uh, how 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 about how about just zello we name him zello we have a new friend and his name is zello we can feed him stuff there are the abilities and oh boy oh okay uh, look, it looks complex. Mm hmm. Equipment, wooden stick. It, it has a wooden stick. Why does it have a weapon at all? Water weakness, fire resistance. Makes sense. Uh, crit chance, crit damage. It's, it's complex. Mm, wind weakness. Okay, they're weak to wind and resist water. I gotta learn the new typings. Arcane bolt. Magic damage. Do something. Uh, fire, wind. It's lightning bolt. Why is it wind? <laughs> is there no electricity in this game? Oh, that would be sad. Wait, what about what about talk? What does talk do? Uh, Keeper's Trail. Uh-huh. Cool. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. 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 I don't know. What do I have? I have a Phoenix tier. Cool. So it's like the Phoenix down in Final Fantasy or just a revive in Pokemon. Okay. But yeah, it's good to see y'all. I missed you, Rusty and Pickle. I miss being around to stream and hang out with y'all. What have y'all been up to lately? Seems good enough. Mm-hmm. 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 You and that blob are quite alike. Let's continue on the Keeper's Trail. It will lead us to Old Burren, an old friend of mine. He is a patient teacher to all young Keepers who seek guidance. I advise you to listen to him very carefully. Okay. I'm just gonna keep on levitating. Here's a thing. I fight. Oh, I'm on the opposite side. Oh, that's interesting looking. Uh, we fight you. Smack, 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 smack. Does does Feather Storm hit both? No, no hit both. Well, that's lame. It's interesting that uh, maybe. Oh, okay. The Feather Storm costs more, but does less damage. Lightning Bolt costs less, does more damage. But also, if you look at it, this hits more times, so I'm guessing that like it has a higher chance to hit critical hit each time, perhaps? I'm gonna try it. 
It looks cool. Oh, don't heal. No. Bubble burst. Yeah, it's like it's a water type thing. Is interesting. Another little thing that I'm already appreciating about this. In Pokemon, the battles take ages. It's actually kind of absurd. It takes so long to get into one. It takes so long for each turn. It's honestly really annoying to me. But in this, the fights are quick and you can actually make them go faster if you want to. And I'm very glad for that. I'm very glad that the battles don't take ages like they do in normal Pokemon. That's like my biggest complaint in Pokemon. Based on the effectiveness of your combat strategy, you get a rating of 1 to 5 stars. Earning a higher rating increases your chances of getting better drops like rare monster eggs. Cool, cool. Whee. Whee. Drop. Oh, I like the landing animation. That was cool. Let me see that again. Nice little crouch, bow, catch yourself type thing. Young Keeper, tis the Keeper's Trail beginning, for all of man, beast, and sanctuary has beginning. Sir, oh, it's a thing. It is, it is a magma pillar and a rocky. Sir. Uh, can I get enemy info? You are weak to water. You are weak to fire. Very good. Very good. This, uh, it's neutral. Alright, it's just literally just a neutral attack. This is fire. So I can use it on you and do good. Smack. Kaboom! This last. Pew, 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 pew. I like the the pixel art for this game too. The art is nice. I like the graphics. They're simple but charming. It gives me kind of a a Stardew Valley feel, but if it was Pokemon. Oh no, burns! Monster receives damage based on the own attack or magic value. Oh, that's interesting. It receives a damage amount that isn't set. It's set based on the individual Pokemon instead of being like one eighth of the health, like in Pokemon. Based on the individual monster instead of being like one eighth of the Pokemon's health, like in Pokemon. That's interesting. kind of like that. And I'm going to use Featherstorm. The music is nothing special yet, in my opinion, but it's not bad. As your monsters gain experience in combat, they will increase in level. This allows them to gain new skills. You should take a look at the skill tree menu. Oh no, it's a skill tree. Oh no. Oh no, it's a skill tree. Oh no. Oh no. I don't know how to do skill tree. Uh, what is this? It's a buff thing. Physical skills deal 20% more damage. Feather Storm upgrade, Lightning upgrade, uh, Hybrid Shield. At the start of combat, apply a shield equal to attack and magic value, improve mana rating, increases mana by 7, increases mana regen by 4. Sounds pretty good. 
No, but the thing is, skill trees are very make it very complicated, and you have to do very specific decisions as you go. My well, sock on a random enemy at the start of combat. Improved magic rating by one. Critical hit chance. Improved attack rating by one. That's physical damage, magical damage, more physical damage. Physical and magic appear to be equal right now. Um, dill pickles are the best. I like the idea of more mana, just so I can do stuff a little bit more. But that, does, hang on, it's only seven. Uh, but what's, what's the mana reason? Does mana reason happen mid battle? go with here. Don't know what's good. Um, increase attack. Increase special attack. How, how much special attack is in the game? I don't know how much special attack is in the game though. Oh, and you can completely change up your move pool later on? Oh, gosh. Eh. Complex. Very complex. I appreciate it, but also... Eh. I, I'm just spending way too long just trying to figure out this one thing. I, I don't know strategy. I don't know if this is the best thing. I don't know, but I, I never use buffing attacks in normal Pokemon. Are they going to be good in this? Yeah, I don't like sweet pickles either. Oh, I will eat them on occasion, but I will never be like, ooh, yes, yeah, sweet pickle. I'll be like, oh, hey, there are sweet pickles on this platter. I guess I'll have one, but that's about it. Um, shields are cool. Sock? Uh, when attacking a socked monster, deal with this will 40% damage hit. Automatically applies it. That's kind of neat. That's kind of neat. Yes. Um, I kind of like that. And I kind of like that. <laughs> Um, or I could level up a move. I I'm going to do that. I'm going to learn the initial sock thing. I feel like that's my best bet. Because I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Magma Pillar. Cool. Uh, what do we name it? What do we name the Magma Pillar? It it's, it's like a fire bug caterpillar thing. Um... Uh, names, trickiness. Uh, I'll give make a deal with y'all. If any of you ever want to contribute funds, or just like like give bits or a subscription or anything like that. To have a monster, a creature in the game named after you, you can do that. If you ever want it. If. <laughs> That's up to y'all. Um, no, I don't really want... Mm, but do I want to do another star? I don't know. I kind of... I like the puns. I was going with Altair as the reference, the eagle reference. Um, is a bug. Is fire. Flaming bug. Go kaboom. Um, are there any good Hollow Knight references I can make here? Uh, I don't know what it turns into though. Uh, Magma Pillar. Um, this game does look like fun, Rusty. 
I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I'm going so slowly with it. I've been, play been playing this game for like half an hour and barely done anything. <laughs> um... This is... Oh, what are those... What are those caterpillars with the rings? The woolly something or other? What are those called? Hi, Esther. Are you here? Are you saying hello? Woolly bears, yeah. Woolly bear. There we go. Yes. Esther, I can't see half my screens. Okay. Uh, and it has a skill point already. Oh, gosh. Uh, ignite. That's a fire. That's a neutral. That's a thing. That's a defense thing. I don't really care about that yet, because I don't know if that actually is worthwhile. Um, what about this? They're neutral, but it's probably good. Burning Desire. Apply seal to the party when an enemy receives burn. Um, hmm. 4% of each monster's max health. That's, that's kind of cool. Well, of course, there's a the neutral attack. Neutral attacks are good. Power of each can cycle hit. Oh! Oh, that's useful, especially on our cable. Huh. Every hit has a chance to burn. Increases health. All monsters in the party deal extra damage. Hmm. Hmm. Careful, Esther. Silly kitty. She's being crazy. I kind of like the idea of the burn, though. But I also like the idea of this into this. Um, I'll just grab this for now. And then we can go towards that and that later. And maybe that. Yes. Oh, it's a chest. I obtained a, 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 a cestus? It's a weapon thing? Is the weapon for me or for my creatures? Oh, there's a thing here. That looks that looks like a maybe a thing. Is that part of the background? Or just the wall? Or is that a thing? Or hello? Hey friend, you're just starting as a monster keeper, right? Did you know did you find some equipment for your monsters already? You can make your monsters stronger by equipping them. Um, so instead of them having stick, they can have a cestus? <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> I'm confused. A, a, a kunai with mana region. Cool. <laughs> Sir, a complicated game. Uh, accessories. We monster eaten. Oh, what does this have? Defense. There you go. And there you go. Ha have that. Ha have a cestus. That sounds like a disease. Esther, Esther, I need that cord. Why are you on the cord? Yes. I, I want that. Is it good? Hide, yes. Uh, extra defense, extra health. Very good. <laughs> uh, sir, you're my starter. You can have it. Hey, fellow keeper. Did you know that every single one of your monsters possesses a special ability? You can use your familiar's ability to fly up to that chest up there. But yeah, I know that that one does. What, what about... What about this? Oh, it blows bubbles. Esther, Esther, you're, you're a good kitty, but I can't see my tat when you're right there. Thank you. And I love you too, Zergy. <laughs> I'm so overwhelmed. Everything's overwhelming. Can you do anything blowing at bubbles right there? No? Okay, what, what about, what about you? Oh, you blow fire.
Very good. Oh, it's a bunch of things, including verbs. Okay. Um, yes, you are weak to air, you're weak to grass. I don't have any of that. You resist air, you resist water. This is a neutral. Uh, blobs have more health. Um, I'll just go with the very first one. Night could be good. I'm gonna just do it to you. Yeah, it's burned. Um I'm not positive what the use of Feather Storm exactly is. Oh no, it's a physical, that's right. It's physical, this is special, but this one still does more damage. It's, and it, it's weird. I don't quite get it exactly. Alright, welcome to Zeragi's friend. Feel free to lurk and hang out. I'm just glad you're here, and I hope you enjoy the stream. That's some extreme poking, but I poked. How do I rearrange? I can rearrange. How, how do? How, how do? How do do? How do rearrange? You say rearrange. Um. Oh, there's a basic attack too, it looks like. That's interesting. So you have the main attacks with the weapons that they have, and then you have the, the abilities like this. That's interesting. The other one's already burned. I'll do this. And then you... Can do... This is the cheapest one. I'll just do that. Burns. Oh no! Ah, it's gone. I didn't get an egg. No egg. What? Oh, this is defense up. Oh, they're consumables. So like, so like a carbos. No, like a uh, an iron in Pokemon. Okay. Man prospered through generations, founded cities and nations, connected by dirt and wheel, and later by steam. Cool game. Oh, whoa, what what the hey was that Cyclops weird thing? Okay. Okay. Weird. Mm-hmm. Here have this. Is there anything over here? No? Gauntlet. Defense, critical hit chance. I'm just boosting Altair just because I don't know what else to... Because it's it's the main one. It's the one that I know is sticking around. Um, Acid Rain. Oh, it's a water move. That would be good to have. There's also Slime Sot, which poisons. Armor Break. Reduces defense. Poison. Both of those sound good. Sorcery... Magic attacks deal more damage. Increases mana regen of the whole party. Yeah, um... 
They both sound useful. What else do we have? Oh, wait, 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 what is this? Bubble burst? Why, why are there two in this line? Magic proc. Every attack triggers an additional hit to 35%. Huh. Huh. Okay. Healing accents trigger an additional heal on the monster. Oh, that's kind of neat. Extra healing? But I want this right now. Um, feed, walnut, uh, I don't know, not yet. Oh my gosh, no, branching paths! I mean, it is Metroidvania. Keeper's stronghold, keeper's trail. What, you didn't say what down was! Can't just have me wondering about that. I got copper. I can't, I can't make the jump up there. I guess I don't get to know what is down yet. Hello, creature. I fight the the Veros. Remind me. Yeah, they're weak to grass and resistant to air. What if I do slime stop them? Night. And then finished off with Explosion, which apparently does more damage to the one that's already burned, it looks like. Interesting. Was that a crit? Because that just completely took him out. Might. I guess they deal more damage now? I pressed. This is another thing I appreciate. They're healed automatically after each battle. So I don't have to worry about, oh no, I gotta heal them up in between battles to make sure they don't just die. No, no, it's chill. I don't think one does more damage than the other. A slight discordance. Oh, I got an egg! I know that there is an alternative battle theme, so let me see what that one's like. It's a Vero egg! He's a cute little bird! Uh, looks like a, a toucan or something. Um... I'm gonna name it Pelly, cause that's what I thought of. Like a pelican, even though it's not. It, it's f- yeah. Mm-hmm. It's fine. Okay. Uh... Physical... A neutral physical. Might, wind, physical damage, wind. Um, this one's cheaper. Looks like it does more damage by a little bit. Uh, critical damage, uh, each attack triggers an additional hit equal to 35% of attack value. That's good. Um, attack plus, defense plus, combo buffing. Uh huh. By side. Huh. That's actually pretty good. Um, hmm. But that's if I use it. I don't know what I'm using yet. I can't even begin to guess. <laughs> like, is it worth... Oh, it... It does not levitate me as much as the other one does. Is it worth having multiple flying types in a party? 
I don't know. Man knew of those who wait in the woods and caverns beyond, yet for the treasures within he longed, for the greed of kings was great. It was great, guys! It's a diadem. For defense and mana. Uh, no, that's what I need to have on Altair. Uh, defense, health, mana region, crit chance. You need that. And then the other thing can go on... Uh, you have, like, no defense, so... There you go. I guess? I, I have no idea. I feel as unsure about stuff as I did in Pokemon. Oh, that battle, that music's good. Let me swap out... No, no, I'm not going to yet. Weak to water, weak to fire... Resist is fire, resist is grass. Well, this is... Wait, it's earth? Oh, it's not grass, it's earth. Okay. Um, totally different, didn't misunderstand. It's fire. You are weak to fire. And also seemingly kind of bulky. Hmm. I'll do that, I guess. Basic attack. That's resisted. Hunts combo. You ever try and punch a bird? I feel like that doesn't work very well. Yeah, I like this theme better. I mean, I haven't either. I'm kind of just referencing a joke that I know of. Kind of, sort of. Uh, it's weak to fire. I mean, resist fire, okay. Very good. I got an, I got an egg! Get egg. I still don't know what I'm doing though. Sir, it's a Rocky. Uh, Rocky's kind of already a name, but that's a simplistic name in the first place. Uh, if we're gonna name it something rock related, Rockefeller. Is that how you spell it? Uh, it might be Rock. A feller? Rock it's like Rockefeller Plaza. Rock Rockefeller. I think that's good. I name it Rockefeller. Um skills. You have skills. I could upgrade that. I can upgrade that. I could upgrade max mana. I could give that. I kind of like the sealed. The sealed seems like a good thing to go with. Maybe. Is there a maximum? Can I upgrade all of these at some point? Or... Oh gosh, questions. Um, and confusing. 
Oh boy. The thing is, like, with the buffing moves in Pokemon, I never use those unless I feel like I absolutely have to. Like, and it would have to be a really good buffing move, like in competitive battle or something. I'm glad you're excited to play it, Rusty. It seems pretty cool. It just is also very complicated. Um, I could level up an ability. I could level up, like, the magic ability or the physical or mana or shield or... Do I level up? No. But do I, I don't have enough mana to actually do that yet. Maybe I should start leveling up mana? Or the shield? Well, I'll start leveling up mana. What about you? Uh, oh yeah, the burning thing. That seemed cool. So did Cascade, though. Uh, the shield seems good. Empower. That seems good. Uh, I like that one, though. I'm learning Cascade. And you, Rockefeller. Uh, neutral. Earth. Earth. Magic with Restoration. Healing. Uh, what's the debuff? Deals less damage. Oh, that's cool, Rusty. If you're still going, I'll raid you when we're done. Which will probably still be a little bit, but... Broken mana region... I don't know if that's in battle or after. Every attack triggers into this mode. <laughs> ah, well, uh, do you want me to raid you or not, then? Every attack... Every attack triggers into this mode hit equal to that. It's not bad. Things. Hmm. 150%. 65, 50, 40. Eh, can it be dots? That's always good. Um, I'll do that. Oh, wait, no, but I, ha I have two. Duh. Don't mind me. Well, yeah, no, you don't have to because I'm learning a game. You know I'm learning a game. I know nothing about the game. I'm just going off of what I know in relation to Pokemon and whatnot. And hoping that that works in my favor. Um, let's also... Oh, the woolly bear is cool. Zello, I don't care too much about, apparently. What are your things? Beating. Might. Air sickle. Or... Neutral. Earth. Oh, I need the water one. I didn't realize that that one was Earth and this is water. I don't know how I missed that. Zello seems to actually be worthwhile in regards to abilities, at least. Um, Wooly Bear has another fire Pokemon. Okay, Pickle, see ya. Good work, good luck on the math homework. I don't need another fire one, but I do kind of like the burn. Burn is good, but I don't need another fire thing. I already have a fire one. So I'm going to try switching you there. And what do you do? Creates a rock obstacle. Or activates ground switches. Interesting. Cool, cool. I'm sure that'll be useful eventually. Ooh, double chest. An orb for mana region. Morning star. Extra defense. Mm, you definitely need extra defense. Hmm. 
about the mana regen though? What, who, who, what, what does, how does the mana regen even work? I can't tell this yet. Remind me again. You resist earth. You are weak to air. Cool. I think I shouldn't have switched him out because now he does almost no damage to anything. That does the most damage out of anything here. I also forgot that I gave uh, rock. No, uh, not rock. I'm getting everyone mixed up. I forgot that I gave the caterpillar one. Oops, I already forgot the name. I forgot that I gave it the thing that, uh,. That causes it. Wooly Bear, yes. I forgot that I gave Wooly Bear the thing that makes it. that allows it to do. more damage every subsequent hit. Also, apparently Rockefeller does not have nearly enough mana. Like, actually. Rockefeller does not have enough mana. That was the mana reason. Okay, I understand. The mana reads in a little bit at the start of each turn. That's where it is. I think. I think that's what that was. Smack. But I'm honestly not positive. I'm not sure what those numbers that I see going up are exactly. It is complicated. But I mean, so is Pokemon normally anyway, so... Also, sorry if there's... Uh, buffering. I'm dropping frames again. But there's nothing I can do about that. I got a potato! Full tat. Uh, you need to not have that. Uh, well, what does the Morning Star do again? Morning Star. Oh yeah, extra defense. It's supposed to deal more damage too. How does the? How are you doing better with a wooden stick than this? Um, you need. Uh, the mana regen thing. That was good too. Uh, Wooly Bear should be up here. Rockefeller wasn't doing much. Um, let me unlock the water thing, because I do need a water thing. Um,. I would try Pelly, 
but I don't think I'm going to actually use him very much, simply because I already have an air one in the form of my starter. So... He kind of just is here, and that's about it. Man plunged into deepest abyss, forged, attacked, and slew. These endeavors were without solace. The cost on humanity, nobody knew. Cool. Well, there's ding up there. There's place down here. There's chest over here with an impact ring. That's cool. Who has the highest critical chance? 50? You all have 50% chance. Here. Um... I don't know. Uh, you. Because I like you pretty well. So far. Oh. Who are you and what is that fancy thing? Hello, young monster keeper. Your first time on the keeper's channel, is it? This is a teleporter stone. You can use it quick to blah 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 blah. You can use it to travel quickly to other teleporters you find. Me? I'm just a treasure hunter. I make a business selling the things I find here and there. Want to buy something? Uh, what to sell? Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. How much gold do I even have? 380. Okay. Sell. I sell portat. No. Um. Cotton. Hmm. Old barn. You can find him heading further west. Cool. Phoenix Tears. Cool. I can't teleport anywhere. Hey, fellow keeper! Did you know you can change which of your monsters is following you around? This allows you to use different monster abilities while exploring. Cool. I didn't know that. And also, can I burn this? Yes, I can! Ha! Burn! Gold. Red gym. Cool. But I, I still like doing this. Now I know it said further west, but I want to see what's this way first. Were they weak? They were weak to fire, okay. Um, and they resist earth. These do the same amount. Different amounts of mana. Armor break reduces defense, though. It's good to follow up with. Does it change? Okay, no, they're both not there. Um, oh yeah, the thing that follows up. That's cool. Um, smack. I'm liking this game so far. It is definitely complicated, but it's cool. It gives me Pokemon vibes, but in a good way, because like Pokemon can admittedly get on my nerves sometimes, just in regards to the fact of how long the battles take to get in and out of. And that's always been my biggest gripe with Pokemon. But this is more reasonable in that regard. And I'm able to just enjoy it more because of that. And also, there's exploration going on. That's always something I liked in Pokemon. It's just... It, it's good. It's enjoyable. I'm having fun with it. Smack. Tis good indeed. Potat! I'm not going to worry too much about the skill point I just got yet. Just because I don't know if I need to. Because I'm not using him currently. 
because this seems to be like a good little group right here. What, what, no, what, is, what else do you got? You got Featherstorm. Um, cool. This is complicated. This is absolutely complicated. And then it's because now there's a thing in like, hey, guess what? It actually is worthwhile if you have multiple flying creatures in your party. Potentially. I don't know what the type of strategy I like to go for is in this game yet because I don't know what all is in this game yet. I'm not going to worry about that yet. Um, mana region stuff. Yes. There you go, have that, enjoy. Although also, how much defense do you have? You have quite a bit, you don't need that much. Uh, unequip that, I'm gonna go over here, equipment, uh... But you haven't been really running low on that. What about if I gave you that? You have similar amounts? Um, let me take that off of you. Give it to you instead. I don't know what I'm doing. Certain monsters can destroy hidden walls like the one behind me. If you happen to get a monster with the physical ability, come back and try it. I thought that was a hidden wall thing. I thought that was something that could probably be broken. Do, do I have... I don't have key, though! Do I have a platform back up there now? Probably. I should have headed the other way first. But maybe I can teleport back now that I have that, or maybe it's up here. That's also possible. I can burn it down. Ha! Burn! What, what is... Is that a cat in boots with a sword? Cat Zerker. Sir. Weak to earth, resists fire. Okay. Sir. Oh, that looked cool. Smack. Arcane Bolt can finish it off and it's the Teeth of Storm. So... I'm gonna use that. Maybe that's some mild health regeneration? I honestly don't know. Delta Rune a little bit. No, I, I have the same impression. I think it's because of like the three party battle type thing. Because I had a similar 
Impressive. I can get a cat circuit. Can I get this? A walnut. Great. I always wanted to have a walnut in this game. Cat Zerker. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I mean, pushing boots. It's it's pushing boots without the hat, or not as good of color. But also, I I don't know if I want that. Um, uh, what else could we name it? It's a cat with a sword. Uh, <laughs> it's a katana! It's a katana! That's what it is! It's a cat with a sword, it's a katana! Obviously. Ooh, yes. Mana reads into the whole party. That's a good. That is also good. <laughs> Triggers an additional hit equal 35% of magic value. I like mana reads into the whole party, though. Um, you have a skill point. They all have skill points. Okay. Um, I was going to. I was going to give you that. Yep. Get that. Oh yeah, what is that? Oh yeah, the revive. Yeah. Hmm. I'm still waiting on you. And you can have uh mana reason or it has a chance to remove a buff from the target, but they don't buff themselves very often. I'm not gonna worry about those yet, because I don't know what I'm doing with them. Laws, physical, neutral, wind, fire. Okay, so this one has more abilities, so it's not limited to four attacks like a Pokemon. That's interesting. I I appreciate that. I uh, I really appreciate that actually. Um, fire claws, parasickle, neutral. Lots of neutral hits, but they're good neutral hits. Um, precision, increased strike chance. It's the wind, there's fire, neither of which do I really need, but that's whatever. Uh, I'll unlock them so I have them if I ever use them at least. Wait, what is, what is its ability? Breaks hidden walls! Oh, there we go. Burns vines and kindles torches, activates fire orbs, activates water orbs. Cool. Cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Hello! I'll fight ya. Uh, they're weak to water. Doesn't help. I like that you can see what abilities, what types of abilities your team has, so you can switch them as needed at the very beginning. That's nice. That's useful. I approve of it. They're weak to water. Always can't remember that. Because I'm, I'm good at things. I'm the best at all the things. What do they resist? Fire. Okay. Yeah, of course. They use fire attacks. Look at what I'm fighting. Lunar. Get yourself together. I still don't know why Featherstorm is a thing, 
when this is stronger? And it costs less mana? It's, it's, it doesn't seem balanced to me. Yes, you could have said perfect, indeed. You definitely could have, but you didn't. I don't know, Zergi. Wasted potential indeed. Just considering all my options. Good. What's over here? That almost looks like a place a secret would be. Not that I think I can actually reach it, but. And it doesn't look like there's anything up there anyway. It just looks like the sort of thing where a secret would be. Okay, weak to third. Air. Okay. Uh, I actually don't need Wooly Bear for this. But I will take you. And. I didn't bring the. Pokemon, the, the monster, the creature, with the Earth ability, though. Good job, me. I was too focused on that. But it's okay. It's okay. Let's just do that. Oh, a crit. Nice. I think of the looks of the attacks, that's probably my favorite one of the game so far. Other than uh, Explosion. Which is funny because in normal Pokemon, Explosion is a not good because it kills the Pokemon that uses it. In this, though, it's like, oh no, it's just a big burst of fire. I like that more. I want to see fly fire claws. I haven't seen that yet. It's claws both fire. Cool. Makes sense. Then came the four, free from greed or any other sin, who listened to the voice within, 
struck a wound to the realm's core. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know exactly what it's talking about, don't you? Oh, extra health. Extra health is good. I don't think I need that yet, though. Oh, we're definitely... Oh, boy. We are definitely getting Metroidvania-esque now. I can head up or down or left. Cool. I, I appreciate it. It even has, like, the whole sort of platforming thing that Metroid does. Retreat out of combat. Oh, can I head... Can I head these ways, too? Oh, there's... A, there, what? This is gonna be a dead end, but there's stuff... What is... Is that a Yeti? Yowie. It's a Yowie. Excuse me. Okay, they're weak to fire. Katana does have fire. Do any of them need water? Or earth? Uh, you're weak to earth. I don't need Wooly Bear here. It strains that the flying one is weak to Earth. And po just because in Pokemon, I'm sorry, I'm going to be comparing it to Pokemon this entire time, and you can't do anything about that. In Pokemon, flying types are immune to Earth. So it just strikes me as funny that in this game, that's not how it works at all. Actually, I could have used Wooly Bear here, but I don't know. I, I like, I like Katana. Yes. Hey, what's all your rebellion? Will it come? I got a Yowie egg. Very cool. Very good. Katana got a skill point. Um, heal by 15% of the damage dealt to enemies. Oh, that's good. Regeneration. Oh, that's also good. Look, I'm probably going to keep using Katana for a long while here. Looks like a Yeti. Uh. My mind goes to the character, the Yeti from Monsters, Inc. Welcome to the Himalayas! I, I don't remember that guy's name, if he even had a name. Oh, oh, I'm going to make a reference to a commercial I know, uh, which is going to come across weird to you, but so in a, it's a, prog it's progressive, the, the inserts, the progressive inserts, is that even progressive? Yeah, it's progressive. There is a Yeti. 
And he, the main character refers to him as Bigfoot, and he's like, Bigfoot, what did you call me? You know, Bigfoot. My name is Dale, and he's just so offended by it. I know it's that's why I said it's going to come across weird to y'all. There is no correlation. It is entirely a reference to that ad. I promise you. But it, it it's a good commercial. So yes. I switch with you because I just don't see myself using you. Okay. What do you got? You have ice hail. Okay, you got water, neutral, neutral, um, taunt. Oh, so he's like a tank type with very low defense right now, but very good health. Good health, okay. Water attacks deal extra damage. Uh, where's this? What's the debuff? Hmm. Okay. Uh, neutral attack steal more damaged. Mana region for the whole party. Taunt. Health proc. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. Less mana for everything. That's actually the sort of buff that I would consider using. I'll start with that though. And you have one more skill point. Um, I'll give. Uh, I'll do. No, it's he's not at a point where I feel like I can do that. I'll do that. Secret chest, mana region, extra mana and mana region. That's good. And potions. Cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Extra defense. You definitely would need extra defense. Like, if he's going to be built like a tank, you might as well give him tank related items, right? From this wound, rivers flowed and mountains grew mighty and cold. Tis the only place for any creature that lives in, its, in peace within its nature. Talking about at this point. Ooh, extra health and extra mana. That's cool. That's cool. I don't feel like fighting them more right now. I want to explore more. Oh. It is place. Hello. Oh, it's old Burn. Oh, if it isn't an old friend of mine. Hey, Burn. Long time no see. I brought you a new student. He just hatched his first monsters. I thought you might teach him some lessons. So you're the new spectral keeper, huh? Folk called me old Burn. I've made my home at the end of the Keeper's Trail, so I can teach you all all of you Greenhorns about your new duties as fully-fledged monster keepers. But first, let's battle to see if you are worthy of the title. So there are training battles in this game. Always observe your enemies carefully. Some say that the outcome of battle is decided before it begins. Since I raised these blobs myself, they are stronger than the ones you've seen so far. As you can see, their level is much higher. You can also see the weaknesses and resistances of your enemies. My blobs are weak to wind attacks. Yes, I see this. You have wind. You do not. But you tank hits. So that's cool. And you have wind. And that's what I'm going to do. Because it seems good. Look at the top right corner of the screen. That is the combo counter. Yes, explain that to me. Every action you do in combat will increase the combo counter based on how often you hit your enemies or heal or 
or healed or buffed your allies. This will increase the damage of the following attacks. A, the combo counter resets after every turn. So that's what that is. So it makes sense to always try to attack with your weaker defensive or assisting monsters first, and use high hit count actions. That makes sense. This will maximize the damage of your offensive monsters that attack later. Okay! I appreciate it. I respect that. That makes sense. And it's good and cool. Okay. Okay. So it makes sense to send like him first then. Since he is not the attacker. Extra strategy then. I appreciate it. Upgraded attacks. Okay. Probably should consider doing that then. Since those seem pretty worthwhile. I'm going to concentrate on knocking this one out if I can. It's almost down. So I'm not going to worry about it too much. Mm, maybe I should, though. I should. I should absolutely focus on one of them. You know, that still won't take it out. I don't even have enough for that. I don't need to attack with anything more, because Altair will finish it off. I like that seal that Altair has. This one's the next closest to being gone. Oh yeah, the lifesteal thing. Just one more there. That dealt extra damage, I think. I'll do a Feather Storm, because why not? I haven't actually done that yet. I'm not surprised. Not bad. Not bad at all. You have walked the Keeper's Trail and you have defeated my monsters. However, to become a proper Monster Keeper, you will need to complete one more test. Young Keeper, this next test will be much more challenging. You should prepare for it first. If your monsters have any free skill points, use them now. And use them wisely. Uh, okay. Oh, by the way, what does... What does... Do you do? Break hidden walls and move heavy blocks. Cool. Before I do that, I need to step away for a moment. I need to use Thruster again. Hold tight, I will be right back.
Hello again, friends. Give me a second to get situated. So it makes sense to send Dale out first and have him tank stuff. Set up everything. Thank you, Zergi. doing acid rain arcane bolt uh, it does have the mana for that kind of with mana reads indefinitely uh, poison oh yeah I was gonna upgrade that next Monsters on the party do more damage. Every hit has a chance to apply burn. That's pretty good. But that's only if I use Arcane Bolt over Ignite. But that does make sense to do so. Hmm. In some cases, at least, I mean. Actually, yeah, apply Steel to party when an enemy receives a burn. Every chance. Every. Yeah, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, here, I want to upgrade an attack. So I either upgrade this one. Well, which one do I upgrade? Like, this one does nothing right now. And has no use over this one. This one is the cooler one. But I don't want to make it outclass the other so much when it already outclasses it. It makes sense to upgrade that one. You have skill points, but like, I'm not really using you, so... Here, I'll let you learn that, just in case, and then I'll... Have you learn, like... I don't know. That, sir. Uh, yeah, that seems good, probably. What is that? Have you prepared for the real test? Yes. Good! You show bravery, but this time you are not facing a normal monster. I'm facing the tin can. Cool. Oh! Particularly power powerful monsters are often described as champions. They have more health, do more damage, and can act multiple times a turn. It is your job as a monster keeper to take care of them. So it's only fitting that you beat one of beat one to become a member of the Order of Monster Keepers. Show me what you are made of. Okay. So if it's weak to air, resists fire and has grass attacks. Um, if it's weak to air, I need to use katana and tear. Uh, has grass attacks. Uh, that is going to be difficult for katana. We're going to do... Uh, but Rockefeller could... Rockefeller could take the hits. I want to send out Dale, katana, and altair. See if that works. That that's a lot of health that has. Did you did you notice that? It has almost two thousand health. That 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 lot of health. I did not name it after him though. I did not. I named it after the commercial. Why does it get to attack multiple times? I, I disapprove. I, 
I don't want to get on your dad's bad side here. Oh, and you can do a different level of it. That's cool. I appreciate that. Yeah, maybe, but also maybe not. You say that, but also. Okay, it's a basic attack, that's fine. That's not as much. Oh, you don't have enough for that. Man. I'll let you read in more mana and just do a normal attack. Sealed do. I don't know. Oh, but he has a. S oh yeah, it's 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 a seal. I need to get rid of that sealed so I can actually deal damage to him. Yeah, the mana regens a little bit each battle. Well, at each turn, I'm recognizing that. I'm looking at the numbers, and yeah, that, that's what's going on here. That'll finish it off. There we go. That wasn't too hard, but that was cool. I appreciate it. Congratulations, young one. You have defeated your first champion, and therefore, you are now a Keeper Aspirant. Aspirant? You aspire to be a Keeper? I don't know how to pass that. Nothing more is required of you. However, stay a while and listen, won't you? Because there are things going on in the Sanctuary that trouble me. You see, monsters can't become this powerful by normal means, and champions usually don't accept other monsters beside them or a Keeper in control of them. Champions are always an anomaly, quite rare in nature. I enhanced this golem myself to make it stronger. But even I couldn't control it for long periods of time, so I leave it deactivated most of the time. Recently, Keeper Rangers have been finding an unusual amount of champions around the Sanctuary. I regularly receive letters by Vero Mail from Rangers who are stuck in distant regions of the Sanctuary, fighting against champions. If it weren't for my old bones, I'd go out there myself. But at least I can keep the Keeper's child safe. I trapped a champion in the caves of this area. You can take care of it if you feel up to the task. Oh, I got the key. But before you go, there's one more lesson I want to teach you. Don't worry, I don't have any other monsters for you to fight. This lesson is just about feeding your monsters. Nom. Nom. Feeding your monsters will boost their stats. Caring for your monsters this way is vital if you intend to face more champion monsters. But a monster always only profits from the last three foods you gave it. Interesting. Now, good luck on your road as a monster keeper. Well then, you're a keeper aspirant now. Still, the only way to improve your rank is to beat more champions. And who knows, maybe you will one day reach the title of Keeper Master. There's always only one in a couple of lifetimes. 
We can take care of that other champion right now. Or we can go back to the Keeper's Stronghold first. Go back, I haven't been there yet. The choice is yours. Yes, let them starve. Hey there! Are you rising through the ranks of Keeper's Stronghold already? You're monsters. They look hungry. Never forget to feed them. But I haven't even... Oh. Books. These are the... The titles of these books read... The Ancestral Tome of Bob Holding. Handling and the hidden places of Monster Sanctuary, a guide. Cool, cool. Mm hmm. Nice. Um, let me give you the taunt thing. And you need precision. I feel like that's the order of usefulness, or at least not in, not usefulness, but like I don't know, like uh, like this is gonna be the la the main Pokemon that always sticks around. This is good for tanking. Um, and crit chance. You should have the crit chance. You should have a better weapon than a wooden stick too. Good grief. Chance mana and mana regions, bad health, and mana. And what does Altair have? Mana and crit chance is good. Defense and crit chance is also good. Yeah. I don't really want to switch out any of those. Nor that. that that's a good item. Why do you have that, though? You take the wooden stick. You take that. You take the cestus. The disease item thing. Oh, crit damage. Oh, that goes on Katana. Because Katana has the high crit chance anyway. Or... Not high crit chance, but a higher crit chance. You should also give that to Dale. Since Dale is like the tanky one here. Orb for mana region. Keeper Stronghold. Yeah. That seems good. Um, apple is mana. Potato is health. Walnut is defense. We got all those things. And stuffs. And there are also the different uh, hidden walls that we can open now. I don't really want to fight other stuff right now. Just because we've done so many battles, I want to do the exploration parts. Figure out what stuff is where. Those are spikes! Yeah, basically, don't go there. I don't have any creatures that can help me out there yet. Or that will allow me to go through that small opening. Interesting. Gold! There, this is the fake wall, isn't it? Um, yeah, because if you look at the map, it has the symbol for a doorway this way, which is something that I am very familiar with in Metroidvanias. That's how it goes. I know how those work. I also like that you can just avoid the battles like that if you don't want to do them. Wizard hat, huh? 
Because there are definitely times that I don't want to. Also, I know what these are. Or at least I can guess. Uh, receive a random buff at the start of combat. The monster can still receive another instance of that buff normally. That's cool. That looks like a useful. Mm, defense. Large amount of health. Health and defense. Um, I'll hang on to that for now, because that does seem good. But I don't know what should have that. But yeah, I saw the water orb fire things previously. Like, uh, when you look up here, activates fire orbs, after it activates water orbs, and I, you look at that, it's like, oh, that's probably what that is. I cannot jump that high. Can I do this? No, okay. But even with the bird levitation thing, I can't jump that high. This is okay. This leaves me curious as to what might be up there. Ah, good old Metroidvanias. Making you have to go back and re-explore places you've already been. I appreciate it. Honestly, I do. Now before I head that way again, uh, oh, I don't want to fight y'all. Oh, uh, but I have limited items. Um, all right, who do we got? Uh, they are weak to earth. What has earth attacks? Only a few. We're gonna send out you. Uh, you barely do any damage. You and you, because always all fair. I can understand that too, Zergi, and I do appreciate that, I respect that opinion. For me, I like the idea of going back through an area you've already been, and seeing how you've improved throughout the game, how you've gotten stronger, and like seeing places you've been before kind of also brings back a bit of feeling of nostalgia. Kind of, sort of. It, it, it's that sort of thing. Or to put it, or just like another way you can look at it is like, let's say there was a place you went to in your childhood, and you went there all the time and spent tons of time there, but there were a few parts of that place that you never got to see. And then you go back years later, and you actually get to see what those places had, what were in those other parts that you never saw. It's that exact same sort of feeling. For me. That's kind of how I think about it, at least. Oh, I got another cat circuit. I, I, I don't need that, though. Can I sell that? Because I don't need that. Is that a fake wall? It doesn't show up on the map like it is? No. While I'm right here, I might as well go see what this uh, fake wall over here was. Is just skill resetter. Oh, that's nice. I was wondering if something like that would exist. Something that resets the skill tree in case I decide I want to go a different path with it. That makes a lot of sense that that would exist. I'm glad that that exists. 
that is a useful item that there is a definite chance I'll use someday in the future. I don't know on who, I don't know when, but it makes sense. Anyway... Da -da. There are those paths over there. I know that there was something... There was a fake wall somewhere around here. I don't know exactly where, but I know that I encountered one previously. Can, can I make that jump? Yes, I can. Oh yeah, there's that weird creature again. What is that? you guys right now if I can avoid it please. Oh hey buddy. Hey friends. Hello fake wall that I saw earlier. Hello chest with another vital ring for extra health. Ha! This just in. Two monster keepers were found dead at the hands of some other monster. Uh, on part of the Keeper's Trail. Whatever could have happened to them. Oh yeah, fake walls are a big thing in video games. You always gotta look for those fake walls. We arrived back at the Keeper's Stronghold. The Stronghold has served as a base of operations for the Monster Keepers for centuries. We should explore some other areas of the Monster Sanctuary first. Next, the Blue Caves are located just below the Stronghold. Before we head there, you should prepare yourselves and your moderate monsters adequately. You can find merchants and a blacksmith in the stronghold to ensure that your monsters always have the best food and the best gear. If you ever feel lost or aren't sure where to go next, you can go to your menu and use the talk feature. The talk feature allows you to ask me about my current objectives. Cool. I don't care. This is the monster, the Keeper's Stronghold, home to all monster keepers. Welcome, Keeper Asp Aspirant. That makes it, that just... Every time I hear that, I think of, like, deodorant. It's like, uh, aspire, or it's just, I, I don't know. It makes me think of, what is this? Uh, Dubba W2. What? Is that a, is that a monster? Kind of looks like one. Here in the Keeper Stronghold, monsters live alongside humans. We raise them to be our friends. A monster raised by a human would never attack a human. Usually, champion monsters are very rare, but recently they've been seen in all regions of the sanctuary. What sort of story are we gonna get? We're we gonna get some cool story? Always think about having enough supplies. You never know what kind of dark times might be ahead of us. Dark times, huh? Yeah, there's some sort of crazy story going. Hang on, give me a second. Had to stop a crisis before it almost happened there. That's why I don't like that my cat, my, the Alex, my main coon cat, can open the door by himself because the dog was right there to try and sneak in, and my other cat, Esther, does not like the dog, and she was like, "What are you doing in here?" And I had to sue out the dog real quick and close the door so nothing happened. Because stuff has happened before, and it does not go well. Hello, fellow Keeper. Are you aware of how the execution part of the rating system is calculated? I don't know about an execution or a rating system or anything like that, no. Execution is mainly based on how well you use the combo system. Your first two monsters increase the rating if you manage to get a high combo count. The last monster increases the rating depending on how much of the damage it deals relatively to the enemy's health. Also, you get the increased points if you exploit the weak enemy's weaknesses. Cool. I like this little this little mushroom creature. I like it. He's kind of cute. Did you know that the buff debuff rating not only counts how many buffs and debuffs you applied, it also grants additional points depending on how often other enemies took poison, burn, or congeal, congeal damage. Congeal? Okay. My preferred strategy is to stay defensive and let my debuffs do the job. I mean, that's a strat, yeah. Hello, 
the chest that I will take. Utilizing the combo system properly is key to getting a good rating in combat. Do you need a reminder how it works? No, I'm good. I think the most important thing as a monster keeper is finding the right diet for all your monsters. Mm, have a hamburger. And some steak fries. I think that's a good diet. Uh, what did I just get? I, I clicked through it too quickly. Uh... I think it was a staff. It's interesting. Yes, exactly, Zeriki. Uh, I can buy wands or claws or a surkin. That seems pretty cool. So, mana ring, idle ring. Blah, 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 blah. Can I... No, I'm not selling Pandora's box. Can I sell... No? Can I not sell the egg? No. Can I not sell egg? What if I want... Oh, you can straight up buy the skill resetters. And for not two months either. That's useful if you need to. Mm, I can buy things. Health, crit damage, mana... That's that's good. It's potentially good. I guess I'll just use the A. Then I, I wonder if there's somewhere down the road where I can give it up, because I don't need it. Oh, hello! You have that cool thing. I like that one. Hey, rookie! Got your first monsters. Be careful. A lot of strong champion monsters were spotted recently. The cause of all this hubbub is unclear, but I'm determined to get to the bottom of it. Not if I do first. Eh. Want to help strengthen the Stronghold's monster army? You can donate eggs you don't need to the Stronghold. We will raise and train them. You'll get a compensate, uh, compen, compensate, blah, blah, blah. I know compensation. Compensatory reward for each egg you donate. Additionally, you will increase the monster's army's strength with each egg you bring in. When the monster army reaches a certain strength, you will receive special rewards. I'm not donating a monster, but I will donate an egg. Thank you. We will hatch and train the monster. I got stuff. Yeah, because I, I don't need it. I already have my own katana. I have katana. Katana's great. I don't need. This is the archive of the Keeper Stronghold. Centuries of monster sanctuary history is written in all those books. That That's cool. I like to read about all the different monsters. You know, if centuries... Uh, hang on a second. Hang on. Centuries of history is written in all these books. So let's just have an open flame right by all of them. That doesn't seem like a good idea. Is it just me? That just doesn't seem like a good idea. Oh, Lunar, how are you getting along in the wilds by yourself? Hi, Mom. You want to become a Keeper Master? You know me and your father both are only Keeper Rangers, so don't press yourself too much. Oh, who am I kidding? I know it's pointless to argue with you once you set a goal, and that's what makes us so proud of you. But never forget to keep your monsters healthy. Oh, potions. Hi, Dad. Hello, son. How are you doing in your endeavors as a Monster Keeper? I'm good. You want to reach the highest ranks of our order? A good goal. Your grandfather became a Creeper Dragoon, and that's the second highest rank in the Order. So we expect no less of you, haha! <laughs> but never put yourself or your monsters in unnecessary danger, you hear? Take this with you on your journeys. That's a good item. I like that item. He actually does look younger than me. I think that's because of the scarf. But you're not wrong. I didn't even notice that until you said so. But you're you're entirely right. Hmm. I'm pretty. It, it based on like art that I saw earlier. It's a scarf. 
But it does kind of look like a beer at the exact same time. You're not wrong. Halt! This path leads to the eastern parts of the Sanctuary, a stronghold dungeon in the ancient war woods. The monsters in these parts are unruly beasts, nothing like the blobs and rockies of the Keeper's Trail. Come back once you've beaten three champion monsters and reach the trank of Keeper Novus. Hello place, hello things, hello chest that I will loot. Crit chance and crit damage. That's a thing for Katana again. Slightly lower chance, but also he has an ability that makes the chance good anyway. So it's an 18% crit chance with a crit damage. That's good. That's good. Ooh, pasta. I'm having, we're having a sort of pasta tonight. Kind of, sort of. This exit leads to the blue caves. Other keepers reported they spotted some champion monsters down there. Oh yeah, this is, this is a place that I'm going to be going later. But not quite yet. I'm just going to do that to mark that that's a place with a thing. And then I can go there later. Well, I'm not doing that quite yet. I want to finish exploring the rest of this. Pasty sword. No, we're having the cheeseburger hamburger helper type thing. You rookie monster keeper, right? I'm a blacksmith of monster armor and weapons. I can upgrade equipment for you. I'll give you some materials to get started. That's a good amount of materials. Use these to upgrade some of your equipment. I like this guy. I'll do that. What's up from here? Hello, kid. This is the Keeper's Tower behind me. Only true Monster Keepers are allowed to go inside. It's where all the strongest Monster Keepers go to train and fight each other. You can even fight along against old champion monsters that you've already defeated. I can't wait to be a Monster Keeper myself. I already know exactly what monsters I want to have on my team. I don't even know what monsters exist, buddy. This is the Keeper's Tower. To access some of the rooms here, you need to reach a certain Monster Keeper rank. Your current rank is Keeper Aspirant. You need to defeat, defeat two more champions to send to the Keeper Novice rank. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about this yet, because I'm scared of encountering people who will obliterate me, maybe. Oh, but there's a teleporty thing. Teleporty thing is good. I can't even get up there yet. I feel like all those people will stop me anyway. Champion talents. Oh, okay. No thanks. We moved to the sanctuary only recently. It does seem so exciting to live in a place like this. I haven't already caught my first monster. Yeah, that's a that's a basic one. Well, good job, buddy. Good job. I'm sure you'll get better ones down the road. You just recently became a monster keeper, right? So how many monsters do you already have? Seven, I think. Let me head back to this place. Ooh, cool teleporty effect. I like the teleporty effect. What's this? This is this is where champion is. Oh hello. Hello guy. Monk. Uh, weak to earth. I don't have much that's good against that. Uh, fire, water, and air. Resist air. I 
Okay, what's the strategy here? Uh, Katana is the only one who uh, isn't weak to any of its attacks. But everything else on my team is weak to its attacks. Dale is tanky. Katana could also take the hits just because of that. I need Zello and probably Rockefeller, even though Rockefeller is not strong. Zello will have to be the one who does the most damage, which is scary. Um... I'll send out Katana? No, I'll send out... I'll do Katana first. I don't trust Rockefeller to be able to do enough damage. Altair and then Zella. Does resist air though. Um, 200% critical damage plus. I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Oh, it's weak to air. I mean, it, it's not weak to air, but it's it builds up the stuff best. That hurts it. I need those crits. I'll just go with that because that does more damage. It hurts, but we're dealing enough damage that I'm not too concerned about it. Honestly, it healing itself is probably a good idea. It can heal itself too. Well, that stinks. Yeah, I'm going to use a small person there, because <laughs> otherwise it's actively in trouble. It definitely takes a lot of damage from that po the, po the poison, though, so that's good. Hello there. Hello, the animated fox. Thank you for the follow, and welcome to the stream. I'm glad to have you here. I hope you're doing well today. How are you doing? There we go. That wasn't too bad. I feel like that one was easier than the last one. Whether or not that's accurate, I don't know. Ah, yes. Welcome, friend of my dear one. Any friend of Zeriki is a friend of mine. Let's see, what do you need? Um, upgrading Ignite isn't bad, upgrading that isn't bad, but you do need more mana for anything like that. So let's go ahead and get that. For you, 
Upgrading lightning would probably be good. Um, but I could get that. Not for it, but for what comes after it. I just realized it has a revive ability and it's practically a phoenix. That's kind of cool. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, there's another phoenix thing. Makes sense. Makes sense. I appreciate it. Um, I could do that for that. Or I could upgrade lightning. I don't know if I want to upgrade lightning yet, though. I don't have that much mana. Honestly, I should be feeding them, though. I should figure out what works best in that regard. Hello! That is useful. Hmm, that's not bad. I'll probably just do that as well. Um, I should feed them. I should figure out Crit damage. Crit damage is good. Health and defense and mana. Um, you should have the health and the defense. Extra mana on you. Hello! Good to see you there, animated fox. I hope you're doing well today. Um, how much mana do I have on everything? I could boost your mana even more. And what else needs mana? I'll leave it like that. Friendos are good to have. An ocarina. It looks like the, the Legend of Zelda ocarina, and I appreciate it. Or at least I guess I guess all ocarinas look like that. But it's still that's what it makes me think of. Deal with that. Um. Let me see. There is a path that way, but I don't think I can do anything with that one yet. So I'll head to the blue cave area, I think. And what about the food? What did you have again? Mana, crit damage, health. Uh, I don't know what I need to get though. I'm glad that you're well. I see that you two are act interacting, but I'm, I'm still going to comment. I am glad that you are well. You need better defense. Man is okay. Crit isn't anything special on you, but you have like no defense. 
Oh, I don't know if I like that buying sound effect. That that was. Mm. I don't know about that one. Here, because you can barely take hits. Um, I'll give you one of everything, actually. Well, other than the crit thing. You. You need stuff. You... I will give... Health? And crit? You should also take more. You should take some mana and. Well, how is your defense? Um, defense isn't is anything special or anything bad. Um, some mana and. Did it need health or more crit defense? Uh, I'm gonna give it. I'm just gonna. Give it more crit damage. Make those critical hits from it deal tons. Crit damage 98%. I mean, donuts are good, so like, I don't blame you. Hello, fellow Spectral Keeper. Ahem! I'm Will Hackett, Keeper of the Spectral Toad. And you must be Lunar. Did you hear the rumors? They say there's an unusual amount of champion monsters around. Mysterious, isn't it? Wouldn't it be awesome if we managed to hunt one down? That would grant us quite some respect in the keep. Perhaps I might even do the CERN, the cause of this rise in champion monsters. Might be an unusual phenomenon. I had my first monsters only recently, though. I studied monsters and such for some years, but I still have troubles. So I think we should support each other. The two other Spectral Keepers have an advantage on us. Leonard is a bit older, so he already gathered some experience. Julia started as a Monster Keeper at a very young age, so she has more experience than us as well. They're both already Keeper Lancers and Keeper Aspirants. That means they're three ranks above us. No, they're, and words us keep our aspirants. But since there's many more champions in, around than usual, we might catch up with them eventually. Here, this monster journal might help you. Don't worry, it's a spare one I got from my grandfather. My grandfather created these journals. They have a lot of empty pages, but these pages will be filled as you find and collect new monsters. Hey, Saffy Taffy, good to see ya. I hope you're doing well and got good sleep if you woke up early. It's been a little while. Hey, what are you doing in here? It's dangerous in the Blue Caves. Don't you have any grasp of what's going on? I, Leonard of the Narsima Bloodline, will take care of these champion monsters. It's not the right task for some rookies. We will see. Fool! Something tells me that we should watch out for Will. Leonard, on the other hand, I hope that you will surpass him in rank at some point. Wouldn't hurt his ego. This area in particular. What are those? What are all of those? This area in particular is giving me Metroid vibes, which I appreciate. Tengu and Grummy. Uh, weak to water, weak to fire. Okay. Uh, you have fire. Uh, you have water. Um... I don't know if I need to be worried about them dealing too much damage. You have water attacks. 
They have fire attacks, you're weak to fire, and that's a better thing. Um, I will send out you. Then... You... And then you? I guess? I like the looks of them. I'm enjoying this game so far. This is a neat game. It's fun. I'm interested to see where it goes. I like the graphics. The music is pretty good. The gameplay itself is fun. I like the exploration part of it. I like this. I like this. They resist fire, but they would be taking burn damage. And I think that's worthwhile. That was a cool ability. So is that. I like those. I'm still just gonna burn them because that seems worthwhile to me. Oh, uh. Ooh, that dealt a lot. Um. Hmm. Arcane Bolt is good. I'm going to... Oh, you sealed all of them. Oh, that's cool. I primarily want to seal Zello, though. Oh, that's the nose. That's definitely the nose. I got a Grummy Egg. Cool, cool. What is, what is this Grummy Egg that you speak of? What what is a Grummy? It, it looked like uh, it looked like the Grints or something similar. Uh, it looked like little or or uh, 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 Oscar, Oscar the Grouse. Oscar. There. It's Oscar. Well, I'm probably going to be wrapping it up before too long myself, Sergei, so no worries. No worries at all. But let me, let me look at you. Um, what do you got? You do, you're weak to fire, have water. Uh, water attacks. Um, probably... Uh, and then Earth. You're probably better than Zello, honestly, because Zello isn't very good in general. Um, Poison Bomb. I already have Slime Sot, that's what I have. Oscar is absolutely going to replace Zello. Just for the simple fact of. more useful. <laughs> better stats, all of that, but also like the similar abilities, so yeah, um, definitely more useful.
gain regeneration when applying a debuff? What? And that's like what that ability does. And what that ability... That's good! Uh, sealed is also good. Definitely worth it. One big poison hit. Like one really big one. Same amount as that. But the extra hits is more useful. Um, apply sealed equal to 50% of own one. Oh my gosh, this guy, this guy's good. This guy looks really good. Um, I like this guy. I like this guy. Um, When applying a debuff, trigger an additional extra hit. This guy just has some really good skills that apply into what he already has. Man. This guy's sticking around. I feel like... I like this guy. I like this guy. Uh, what were those? What were the things? Uh, magical. Also magical. He's a special attacker. Which means that it makes sense to give him the staff instead. Uh, healing stills. Um, mana regen is good. Crit, tome, mana, and mana regen. Um, health. Random buff. That's it. Uh, health and room. Uh, Do that. I like the look of Oscar. I, uh, uh, I'm not just I'm not just talking about the design. The design is interesting. I'm saying that I like what I'm seeing, and I think he could be a good teammate. Ooh, platforming. Okay, now that I did that, one is below. Secrets hide below. That's what. Um, activates water orbs. Okay. Bracelet. Defense and mana reason. That's pretty good. Yeah, I, I like this game. What is this chest? Blue cave key. Okay. Yeah, I'm enjoying this game. I'm actually looking forward to streaming this more, like actively looking forward to it, because this game seems pretty fun, and I like the creatures I'm encountering, I'm looking forward to seeing what else I encounter, and fighting stuff, let, let me try, let me try Oscar, um, one is weak to water, the others are weak to fire. You have a water attack, but not a good one. So we will send out. Uh, hmm. How do we want to go about this? Because I like our team right now. Uh, who should we start with? Uh, let's do you, then you, and you. Burns are always good. Explosion! Kaboom! Oh, they're gonna poison us. Great! Oh, that, that's not a good... That's not a good.
I'd like to take out the nose guy if I could, because he's the one with the fire damage that's hurting so much. I don't think that's going to happen right now, though. That guy actually really hurts. Okay, I can take him out. I'm going to take the opportunity to do so. I got one of these. Those are good. Uh, there are levers. For platforms? Interesting. I feel like this is a good place to wrap it up for today. Good little save point. I'm getting hungry. I know Zergi and her family are going to eat soon. I'm probably going to eat soon. And this is a nice little mystery to stop at for today before we continue to next time. So, I am looking forward to continue this. I'm hoping I'm up to streaming tomorrow. I feel like I probably will be, but I can never be certain. Because life is absolutely insane right now. But I'm hoping to continue streaming more Ori, just do some item collection, and then maybe beat the game, because there's not much more in it. And do those last few areas that we have, and then continue this. Because this, this seems fun. And then after I beat Ori, and the Blind Forest, I'll start Ori and the Will of the Wisps and we'll be replaying that. Ah, goodbye, Tracy. No problem with the twits locking up. I know what that's like. But, yeah, I'm, I'm having fun with this. This is going to be fun to continue. I look forward to seeing where it goes, what sort of other creatures we get, what sort of other good stuff we get. It'll be fun. So, yes. Thank you to everyone who came and hung out with me today. I had a good time. I hope y'all did as well. As well. Choke on my own words there. And, yes. I hope you have a good rest of your day, your morning, your night, your evening, whatever time it is for you. And I will catch y'all again very soon. Have a good one.